Hi, I'm Jessie Gravata from the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement. Here's this week's quick tip. Hello, welcome to this week's quick tip. This week, we're talking all about Google Sites. In order to create a site, go to your drive, click the new button, roll over more, and select sites. Here, you see your very first page. You can do a few things here. You can name your site. You can give your page a title. You can change the header image. You can change the header type. And over here on the right is where you really get into editing your site. For the sake of this quick tip, we're going to focus on themes and ways to make your site look different. So you'll notice that the default theme is called simple and it picks this blue color for us. So every theme gives you five color options or you can upload your own color. You also get a choice of three different fonts. Google does this on purpose to try to keep things simple for those users that don't know much about editing websites. Feel free to look around See which theme and which font match what you want most. If you find a theme that you love, but you're not a huge fan of the header, remember you can always go back in and you can change your image. Note when you upload an image, some work better than others. This header, probably not the best. When you're back in the editing portion for content on your page, here's a tip to shorten your time spent editing sites. Anywhere you double click on the page, you'll see a little menu pop up that allows you to quickly add a few different features. You'll notice that text is the default option right where your mouse is, because typically that's what people are adding most of the time. But notice over here on the right, if you want to have a nice layout but not spend tons of time working on a layout, you can import pre-done layouts. And then from here, images are quite simple to resize. All you need to do is click on the blue dots and drag to fit your desired need. Remember, for anyone to see your site, you need to click publish. Remember, if you have any questions about transitioning from PowerSchool to Google, you can reach us at extension 80255 or support at rusdlearns.net. Thank you.